This example, we want to take a non-homogeneous linear system differential equations and solve it using all three methods, diagonalization, undetermined coefficients, and variation of parameters. We have our system here, x prime equals 4 minus 6, 3 minus 5, x, plus e to the minus t plus e to the 2t, minus 2 e to the minus t, 3 e to the 2t. So we'll start, as always, by finding the homogeneous solution. You can use the same information to solve all the different methods, so we'll start with that one. The homogeneous part means we're just looking at the matrix here, that's the coefficient matrix. And so if we take that, the eigenvalues can be found by solving for 4 minus lambda minus 5 minus lambda plus 18. This is lambda squared. Minus 4 plus 5 is plus lambda. Minus 1 plus 18 is minus 2, which is lambda plus 2, lambda minus 1. So my eigenvalues here are going to be 1 and negative 2. For lambda equals 1, when I subtract 1 off the diagonal, I will see 3 minus 6, 3 minus 6. So an eigenvector here is 2, 1. And for lambda equals minus 2, I will see 6 minus 6, 3 minus 3. So an eigenvector here is 1, 1. Meaning that the general solution for the homogeneous problem can be written as xc of t is c1, 2, 1, e to the t, plus c2, 1, 1, e to the minus 2t. All right, now we can use this and choose our approach for how I want to go about solving the non-homogeneous problem with that extra component vector that we see there. So we'll start with diagonalization and then go through the other two in sequence. So for diagonalization, I need the matrix P that gets built out of the eigenvectors and D from the eigenvalues. So for this setup, based on the eigenvalues and eigenvectors we can see from the equation above here, I'm going to choose D to be the matrix minus 2, 0, 0, 1, and then P then to be 1, 1, 2, 1 because that has the eigenvectors in the same order as the eigenvalues that I put into D. I'm intentionally going in some sense the backwards order from what I had here. You could also do 1, 0, 0, 2 for D, 1, 0, 0, minus 2. And in that case, your P would be something like 2, 1, 1, 1. Either choice here works. I'm going to pick the first one, but you can do whatever one you want to use. As long as they are in the right pairing, it'll work out just fine. So if I have this choice of D and P, I also then need P inverse. The inverse here is going to be 1 over the determinant, so 1 over 1 minus 2. Swap the on diagonal, there's no actual swap there, but that's okay, and negate the off diagonal. The bottom there is just minus 1, and so I'll end up with minus 1, positive 2, 1, negative 1. All right, cool. And last thing to start this method is I need P inverse times F. So there is P inverse. And I can copy down the F from before, and then I'll plug this out. And collecting our like terms here gives me a minus 5 e to the minus t plus 5 e to the 2t on top and a 3 e to the minus t minus 2 e to the 2t on the bottom. How does this work now? The method here says that I want to solve this system y prime equals dy plus p inverse f and then I get to back to x as x equals p times y. You can write that here if you want, but this is what you end up having to solve to make this work out properly. So in this case, what does it look like? Well, this looks like y prime equals d, which was minus 2, 0, 0, 1, y plus p inverse f. So from this, I can now write two decoupled equations for y1 and y2. In the first component, I have y1 prime equals minus 2y1 minus 5e to the minus t plus 5e to the 2t. In the second component, I have y2 prime equals y2 plus 3e to the minus t minus 2e to the 2t. Second component pulls here, first component pulls this term here. Now these are two first order linear constant coefficient equations that I can then solve separately for y1 and y2. We'll go through that process here. So for y1, I end up with y1 prime plus 2y1 equals negative 5e to the minus t plus 5e to the 2t. I want an integrating factor here of e to the 2t because of the 2 coefficient here. This left side becomes an e to the 2t times y1 prime equals minus 5e to the t plus 5e to the 4t. Integrate both sides, e to the 2t y1 equals negative 5e to the t plus 5 fourths e to the 4t plus c1. And so then y1 is going to be negative 5e to the minus t plus 5 fourths e to the 2t plus c1 e to the minus 2t. Do the same now for y2. y2 prime minus y2 equals 3 e to the minus t minus 2 e to the 2t. Here I want my integrating factor to be e to the minus t. This is e to the minus t y2 prime, 3 e to the minus 2t minus 2 e to the t. Integrate both sides, 
e to the minus t y2 is going to equal negative 3 halves e to the minus 2t minus 2 e to the t plus c2. Then y2 is negative 3 halves e to the minus t minus 2 e to the 2t plus c2 e to the t. Great. And now I can take those two and stack them into my y vector. So the y vector that I get here is going to be these two stacked up. And then finally, I get to my final answer, since x will be p times y, or p, let's go back and find it again, is 1, 2, 1, 1 times this vector y. And then we go ahead and multiply all that out. And then finally, I want to collect all of my like terms together. So in terms of e to the minus t terms, I have a 5 and a minus 3, so this will give me a minus 8 on top, negative 5, and a minus 3 halves. That's 10 halves, that's negative 13 halves, times e to the minus t. For e to the 2t terms, I have 5 fourths minus 4, so that's 16 fourths minus 5 is a negative 11 fourths, and 5 fourths minus 2, so 8 minus 2 is minus 3 fourths, e to the 2t. And then I have c1, 1, 1, e to the minus 2t, plus c2, 2, 1, e to the t. And this part, with c1, c2 swapped, matches our homogeneous problem from before. This is what we get for our solution to this non-homogeneous problem with this method. Now hopefully, if we come back to this later, we will see the same answer from our other two methods as well. Let's go on to method two, which is undetermined coefficients. And for this, we want to make a guess based on what we see on their side of the equation. So we saw before that our term here at e to the minus t to the 2t units, so we're going to guess those two things. Neither of those solve the homogeneous problem, so we're going to just guess those as is. So we're going to guess a e to the minus t plus b e to the 2t, or more explicitly, a1, a2, e to the minus t plus b1, b2, e to the 2t. Cool. Now we need to compute the two sides of my equation and set them equal to see what has to happen. So the derivative of this is going to be a1, a2 times negative 1 e to the minus t plus b1, b2 times 2 e to the 2t or minus a1 minus a2 e to the minus t plus 2b1, 2b2 e to the 2t in the form we want that in later. And now our other side of the equation comes from our original matrix 4 minus 6, 3 minus 5 times x plus this right hand side term that we now want to compute out. So when the matrix hits the vector a1, a2, I will see 4a1 minus 6a2, 3a1 minus 5a2, e to the minus t, plus 4b1 minus 6b2, 3b1 minus 5b2. Again, notice the mirror of those terms, e to the 2t, and then plus my extra bit, e to the minus t plus e to the 2t, minus 2 e to the minus t plus 3 e to the now we can combine the green terms, the non-homogeneous terms, into the rest of the equation here. So I will get 4a1 minus 6a2 plus 1, 3a1 minus 5a2 minus 2, times e to the minus t, plus 4b1 minus 6b2 plus 1, 3b1 minus 5b2 plus 3, e to the 2t. And I will change these things to green to indicate that they came from the non-homogeneous part of the equation. So our last step here is to now compare this with this to get four equations in our four unknowns, a1, a2, b1, b2. So for the first component of e to the minus t, I get that minus a1 should equal 4a1 minus 6a2 plus 1, and minus a2 equals 3a1 minus 5a2 minus 2. For the b1s, 2b1 equals 4b1 minus 6b2 plus 1, and 2b2 equals 3b1 minus 5b2 plus 3. All right, now we just got to solve these. So I can rewrite the a equations by putting all the numbers and all the letters on different sides of the equation to give me that minus 5a1 plus 6a2 equals 1 and minus 3a1 plus 4a2 equals negative 2. All right, to cancel this, I'm going to multiply this one by 3, this one by 2 and subtract them to get the a2s to cancel out. If I do that, I will see negative 10a1 plus 9a1 is negative a1. 12 minus 12 is 0 equals 2 plus 6 
is eight. So a one is negative eight. Plugging that into the first equation here, uh, 40 plus six a two equals one. 6a2 is negative 39, a2 is negative 13 halves. Cool. On to the b equations. For the b's, I can play the exact same game. Rewriting them, I will get negative 2b1 plus 6b2 equals 1, minus 3b1 plus 7b2 equals 3, Cancel these, I'm going to make the b1s go away this time because they're smaller numbers. Next, we're going to multiply this one by 3, this one by 2, and subtract. And if I do that, I will get no b1s. I will get 18b2 minus 14b2 is 4b2. I will get 3 minus 6 is negative 3. So b2 is going to be negative 3 fourths. Plugging that back into here, minus 2b1 plus six times negative three fourths equals one. Six times negative three fourths is three, and we have is negative nine halves. So negative two B one minus nine halves equals one. And then over negative two B one equals 11 halves. B one is negative 11 fourths. Cool, so now that we read our solution, we can put those terms all together. So the solution is the homogeneous part plus our non-homogeneous part, which we have as negative eight, negative 13 halves, and our a term was e to the minus t, plus negative 11 fourths for b1, negative 3 fourths for b2, e to the 2t. Great, there's method two. We'll check our solutions all here at the end. Third method is variation of parameters. And so for this method, we're gonna use the homogeneous solution to build a fundamental matrix and go from there to solve this problem. So I'm gonna grab it from the line above here. My homogeneous solution is these two terms here, which means the matrix x that I can build from this is going to be 2e to the t, e to the t, e to the minus 2t, e to the minus 2t. To work this method out, I need x inverse because the answer that I get for this is I want to do x times the integral of x inverse times f. That's how this method works. So we need x inverse first. So x inverse here is 1 over the determinant of so a, b minus b, c times swap the on diagonals and negate the off diagonals. This thing here is gonna be two e to the minus t minus e to the minus t, so it's an e to the minus t on the bottom. Multiply that e to the t inside the matrix to get that x inverse can be written as e to the minus t, negative e to the minus t, minus e to the two t, two e to the two t. So our next step is x inverse times f. We take that matrix from before, multiply it by our right-hand side f, and just compute this out, and then collect terms. I will see a three e to the minus two t, minus 2e to the t, and I will see a negative 5e to the t, and a 5e to the 4t. All right, now I want to integrate that term, which is just term by term integration, just like so. And then I multiply this by the matrix x itself to get to my answer. Now we can just carry out this multiplication and simplify to get to our final answer. And splitting all of this up, we will see I have terms that have e to the minus t on them, of which I have minus three minus five, so minus eight e to the minus t. On the bottom I have minus three halves, also minus five, minus 13 halves e to the minus t. I have my e to the two t terms, minus four plus five fourths is gonna be negative 11 fourths e to the two t. Minus two plus five fourths is minus three fourths e to the two t. And they have the C1, C2, which is the homogeneous part, which is going to be C1, 2, 1, e to the t, plus C2, 1, 1, e to the minus 2t. And that's our answer here. Now we can work, real quick go back and check, make sure they all line up. So here is the various parameters answer. We have minus 8, minus 13 halves, minus 11 fourths, minus 3 fourths. We scroll up under term coefficients. We had minus 8, minus 13 halves, minus 11 fourths, minus 3 fourths. And diagonalization is the exact same four coefficients. And so all three methods got the same answer. Different methods, different routes, different choices for how you want to do this, but they all give you the same answer at the end. So there is a problem, a non-homogeneous linear system differential equation that is solved via all three methods, diagonalization, undetermined coefficients, and variation of parameters, so that they all get to the same answer at the end of the process.